Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you're watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we'll learn about basically how to draw the control and power wiring of the reverse and forward starter. And also, uh, we'll learn basically how to read the wiring diagram of this starter, which is, which is reverse and forward starter. Okay. So before I start the session, I would like to request you, if you are not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming video so let's get started so basically this is the view of reverse and forward motor starter pan okay so basically what is the use of this starter pan so this starter is used to change the direction which one reverse and forward of the three phase induction mode so basically this starter reverse and forward starter is usually used to reverse the direction of three phase induction motor wherever we want to change the direction of of motor like a forward or reverse or clockwise or anti-clockwise there we can use reverse and forward motor starter okay so here we have a panels so different view of the panel so this is the reverse forward and the emergency push button in case of emergency we can stop the motor by pressing it okay and here we have a two push button one for forward start and one for reverse forward start okay and here we have a also two buttons one for start and one for stop and this is a stop push button okay and here inside so uh, basically there are uh, two contactors one for forward and one for reverse word and two overload relay also for uh, each contactor for reverse and for uh, forward we can give it separately okay and here we have a push button so inside view so the inside view okay and this is the terminal block where we can connect the uh, power cables of the uh, three phase in the okay and this is the also so MPCV which is motor protection circuit broken okay so instead so instead of uh, thermal overload relay we can use also MPCV okay so if we are using this MPCV then no need of OLA thermal overload relay okay now finally come to wiring basically how to do the power wiring of the reverse forward starter panel so here we have uh, draw this is the TPN bus bar where we have a R Y B and one is neutral okay and this is the main incomer of starter MCV so here we have taken TPMC this is a sample where we can use uh, so this is for MCV and this is the forward contactor symbol and this is the OLR okay so at the output we can use only one con uh, OLR instead of two okay and this is the reverse contactor okay now let's start the now let's draw the power wiring of this reverse forward motor starter okay so first what we have to do we have to connect the R phase at input terminal of this MCV okay and then Y phase at over here another terminal and the B at third terminal okay which is at in so basically what we have to do we have connected all three phase r y v at input terminal of this main mcb okay now from the output terminal of this mcb we connect r y b phase at input terminal of this contactor which is basically l1 l2 and l3 okay so this is l1 l2 and l which is forward contact okay now from the output of this let's connect the r phase y phase and b phase over here okay and finally from the output of this olr we can give the we can connect the power cable of this three phase induction mode so here we have connected r y b okay so in this case we have completed the power wiring for forward direction okay if this contactor got picked up then this motor will run in forward direction now we are going to draw the circuit diagram for this reverse contractor basically how to reverse the three phase induction motor as you know that if we interchange the phase supply among any of two then our motor direction will be changed simply what we'll have to do just interchange the two phase to each other okay so here we're gonna uh, interchange the yellow and blue phase to each other okay so here now i'm going to start the connection of this uh, reverse contractor okay l3 so simply what we have to do we have to connect we have to take the wire from input terminal of this forward contactor or we can take a wire from the output terminal of this tp mcb okay and connect it to the input terminal of this reverse contact okay so here we have connected r phase now what we are going to do 
we are going to take the red phase and which is connected to L3 terminal basically L3 terminal. Now here we are going to interstate the phase between R and blue. So instead of blue we are going to use we are going to fit the hair Y phase okay. Now at L2 we are going to give blue phase okay here now now from the output terminal of this r contactor what we have going so what we have to do for same uh, r phase connected like same okay so from the output terminal of this r contactor from here let's take up a red wire and connect it to the output terminal of this forward contactor okay forward contactor now here this is the blue phase so we are going to connect it to the over here at Y phase okay now for blue phase here this is the blue previous one now we are going to give from Y phase from here reverse contactor okay so here we have given yellow phase at blue terminal so basically here what we have done basically we interchange the phase between blue or yellow if this contactor got pick up at that time what happened this motor will run in reverse direction okay see the basically power wiring of this reverse and forward motor starter panel okay now come to control wiring okay now here we are going to draw the control wiring of this reverse and forward motor starter okay so for control wiring generally we have a 220 volt which is single phase okay 220 volt so generally we have a 220 volt okay so here we have one phase and one neutral so between it we have a 220 volt okay now for control wiring so here we have a some components of this starter so here i have taken one single pole mcb one button for emergency stop and this is the actually nc contact of overload relay okay thermal overload relay and this is the nc push button for a stop okay a stop the motor okay and here we have a no push button okay general this is for start the motor in forward direction and here and this is no push button for reverse to start the motor in reverse direction to re reverse direction okay to start the motor in reverse direction okay and this is the nc contact of reverse contactor okay reverse contactor so this is the nc contact of this contactor reverse contactor okay and this is the no contact of forward contactor so this is for we are will be going to use for holding purpose and this is for interlocking purpose so at a time we can only run the motor either in forward or in reverse direction okay that's why we have to implement the interlocking between these two contactor reverse and forward contactor okay similarly over here this is nc contact of this one we are going to use because of interlocking okay and this is no contact of this one for holding purpose okay and here we have taken three indicators one for forward if our motor is running in forward direction this indicator will be glow if our motor is running in reverse forward direction reverse direction it means this indicator will be glow in case of any overload or any falls this indicator will be glow okay led indicator so here for this we're gonna use no contactor of this forward contactor and for this we're gonna use no contact of reverse contactor okay and for trip indicator we will be going to use nc no contact of this overload relay okay now let's start the wiring first we'll complete the wiring for forward direction then we'll move to reverse wire okay so for from here let's take a phase wire and connect it to input terminal of this single pole mcb and from the output of this single pole mcb it is connected to the input terminal of this emergency push button now from the output of this emergency push button it is connected to the nc contact of olr relay okay so here we are going to use nc contact of olr relay okay now from the output of this nc contact it is connected to the nc push button which is used for stop the motor okay at input terminal now from the output terminal of this nc push button it will connect it to this no push button okay now from the output of so this push button is basically for start the motor in forward direction and from the output of this terminal uh, from the uh, no push button it is connected to the nc contact of this reverse contactor 
okay reverse contactor okay now from the output of this nc contact contact of this reverse contactor it is connected to a1 terminal of this forward contactor okay now up to here this contactor got phase supply through these contacts okay through these contacts and push buttons okay now this contactor also need neutral supply okay its coil also need neutral supply to activate for activate okay so from here we are going to use neutral and it is connected to a2 terminal of this forward contactor okay now up to here we have completed this one now we are going to implement the holding circuit for this forward contactor to hold permanent forward contactor so for it what we have to do let's take a wire from the output of this nc push button and connect it to the anno contact of this forward contactor okay now from the output of this anno contact it is connected to the nc contact of this reverse contactor okay input terminal now move to reverse contactor okay basically how to do reverse contactor control wire so similarly what we'll have to do at the output terminal of this nc push button we'll take a phase wire a one wire and connect it to the anno push button which is anno push button okay this is the anno push button which is for start the motor in reverse direction okay and from the output of it we'll use we'll connect input terminal of this forward contactor because of interlocking so here we are implementing basically interlocking circuit so we use nc contact of each other okay so now from output term output contact of this nc contact forward contactor nc contact it is finally given to a1 con a1 terminal of this reverse contactor okay so this is the a1 which is coil supply terminal of this contactor now this also need neutral supply so from here we'll connect neutral supply to a2 terminal okay now for it also we have to implement holding circuit so for it uh, let's take a wire from here and uh, connect it to the anno terminal of this reverse contactor and from output of it uh, connected to the input terminal of this nc contact of this forward contactor okay now up to here we have completed control wiring for this uh, start and stop like in forward and reverse now come to indicator wiring so for it what we have to do let's take a phase from output terminal of this emergency push button okay now let's complete the indicator wiring so uh, for it first we have to do forward indicator so for it uh, we're gonna use anno contact of this forward contactor so here uh, from here at the output terminal of this emergency push button let's take a wire and connect to the input terminal of this anno contact of this contactor okay and from the output of it it is connected to the indicator terminal so this indicator also need neutral so from here we can connect neutral over here similarly for reverse we're gonna use anno contact of reverse contactor so it is connected to over here and from output of it it is connected to indicator and neutral also required so here we have connected and for trip indicator we're gonna use anno contact of this olr relay okay so what we have to do uh, let's take a phase and connect it to the anno contact of OLR and from the output of anno contact it is connected to the trip indicator okay now this also needs indicator this also need a neutral wire so here we have connected so after here we have completed power wiring as well control wiring also okay so in this video we uh, have only covered how to basically uh, draw the control and power wiring of reverse and forward motor starter and also how to read the uh, reverse and forward starter control wiring and power wiring in next video we will cover basically how to do the wiring as per this drawing okay so that will be more clear okay in next video so thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos thank you very much see you again in next video